What is up guys, this is Jermaine Cubes here and welcome back to another video. As of lately, I've been asked a few times on how I set up the map 5 and how I get windows so fast. So I figured I would make a full detailed guide on how to play the early rounds fast and how to set windows. And what better person to do this than myself as the current world record holder on this map at around 241 and speedrun world record holder for pretty much all except the round 30 speedrun which I haven't been bothered to get because frankly I just don't care that much about it but I digress. So anyway if you are wondering how I get such fast 50 times on this map then be sure to stick around and watch this video all the way through as I'll be I'll also be showing you how to count the labs efficiently which you can easily push your 50 times down into the low 120s or even less. One last thing is this will be a guide for the, those who want to play with your kick. However, the setup is pretty much the same if you played without it. Um, but this guide will be specific for those who want to play with your. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first things first, you want to stay in this first room until the end of round four, where you'll immediately go down to the first level of the war room. You then trade out the M14 for the MP5 and camp near this window, finishing the round as fast as possible. If you have good aim, it shouldn't be that hard. You then move on down to the stakeout elevator and camp here for this round. After that, you go down to the labs and buy Bowie and camp in this room, mostly using the Bowie to make points. And if you really want to be efficient and avoid knifing into a carp, you can use the MP5 to kill the normal zombies and only knife the nose. This will mean this will avoid getting carps. After that, you merely go turn on the power and rush to the elevator and take. If you don't feel comfortable camping in this elevator without Jug, then go buy Jug and immediately return to this elevator for faster spawns. At the end of this round, go buy meal and then if you don't get dock round, then camp another round in this elevator. And after the round, go to the top floor and buy speed before the dock round starts. In this game, I actually got dock on round 9, so um, in this case, you just have to get speed after the round. You know, in the next round, you then let him take your MP5 and knife him to get the fire cell. A trick that makes him always walk is to not let him run at you and instead run towards him without doing any damage to him. This will make it so that he doesn't sprint away immediately and makes it easier to knife him. In this game, I was using a first box patch just to get to um, just so I could get into the part part, which is setting windows. Um, pretty much just keep hitting the box until you get rainbow. Also, first boxes are quite common on this map as you can get up to 17 or even 22 hits if you wait until the third dock round. Anyway, once you've got all your weapons, you can you come down to the labs and camp until the next dock round, which you will then kill him with your ray to get the bonfire cell and pap all your weapons for only 3k points. Now you can start sending windows. So the best way to do this while still going through the rounds fast is to camp the traps on the top floor for a round and hitting the elevator in between round transitions. You do this up until like the late 20s when you can start hitting it two times per round. In this game I actually got pretty lucky and got them on the third try which doesn't happen often but pretty much if you don't get them by 32 or around 33 it's a restart unless you don't really care about times that much. Um, but yeah, the fastest way to hit the elevator between the round transitions is to take the teleporter. More often than not, it will spawn you in the labs, which you then go ride or call the elevator. Remember, you only have to move the elevator, you don't actually have to ride it. If you call it, you run back to the power elevator teleporter, and this will always take you to a different floor, so either the war room or the top floor. If you go to the war room, just take the teleport elevator up to the top floor. One thing to note is when either one of the elevators are in motion, zombies will not respawn in this time. Now if you're hitting the elevator mid-round, say on round 28, you take the same path, but this time there will be zombies respawning everywhere in the labs. So be sure to keep your bow out in case you get trapped. But the easiest way to avoid using bows is to make your way as fast as you can to the elevator. And if it's down in the labs, take it up to the war room. Once the elevator opens, you'll have three zombies waiting to the left, down that like little pathway there. And the rest of the zombies will be spawning out of the teleporter if they are damaged. However, if they are not damaged, they are, will spawn out of the windows. Most of them at least. If the elevator was not down the labs, call the elevator and take and take this route here into the bowie room, through this window, to the power teleporter. Now back. Now be careful because if it takes you up to the top floor, most likely there will be zombies standing around the teleporter. These zombies will be stunned momentarily until the other zombies teleport up with you. 
meaning that they will not hit you or respond to the bow. So if you can't run past them, wait until the other zombies teleport with you, then shoot the bow. You continue to run this route until windows are set or you have to restart due to downing or because you feel like because this game is a piece of shit sometimes it makes you want to cry. Search. But I digress. Anyway. So once you got windows set you're happy because the most of the RNG part is done. Hooray! Now on to camp in the labs. Now you want to start stacking claymores as soon as possible as they will be important for um, later on for forcing drops. If it's early, say before round 20, you can just complete the rounds by using the ray and occasional bow shots with Sally shots to progress through the rounds fast. At about the late 20s to early 30s, you want to start doing half hordes, shooting about 3 Sally shots to kill the first half and then finish the other half with the ray, ray gun. At about the late 30s to early 40s, you want to start doing full hordes, so you do this little cut back into this corner and then wait about 2 or 3 seconds for any late spawners and shoot against the back wall, shoot a bow shot against the back wall and wait until the bolt is about to explode, so like 2 seconds before it explodes so just so that all the zombies are all bunched up and you shoot roughly 4 or 5 sally shots to kill them or weaken them which you can then finish off with the ray you do this until you run out of ammo and claymores which usually should be at least 45 if you played it right or if you didn't get too unlucky with the drops ideally you want to stay here until about 47 or 48 as this is when it starts to become slower than necessarily running the trap shot itself. Um, camp into 50 is um, pointless unless you um, got a double wins to kill or something on like 48 or 49 or something like that. In this game I managed to camp to 50 as I still had claymores left and I got 48 dock. As you can see in this game I got fairly lucky with the setup however I lost probably a minute or two to force some drops on 46 and 47 but managed, still managed to get a 111. Now, don't expect to be getting 50 times close to this on your first setup. I have played this map to 50 probably close to a thousand times or even more. I don't actually know the number but it's, but it's for sure around there. But if you do everything I showed you in this guide, you should have no trouble getting 50 times close to this or like, you know, somewhere close to this. Besides that guys, this will bring us to the end of this tutorial vid. I hope you understood everything. I know it's a little bit quick, but yeah. If you didn't, then be sure to leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer it down in the comments below. But besides that guys, be sure to like and subscribe for more zombies content and tutorials like this one. I might make more videos showing you guys how to run all the trap shot variants. So like 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, how to run them as fast as possible. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.